Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving uh, you don't have permission to shut down and restart this computer pop-up message you're getting on your Windows device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first method, which I think is easier, um, but the problem is you have to be running Windows 10 Professional or higher, will be to go through the Group Policy Editor. And that is the method I'm going to show first in this tutorial. So I recommend following this first, unless you're running Windows 10 Home, which I would suggest the second method. So anyway, we're going to jump into the first method here, and that would be to open up the Start menu, type in Local Group. Best match to come back with Edit Group Policy if you're running Windows 10 Professional or higher. If you're on Windows 10 Home, it won't come back with this. So that means you're going to have to go to with our second method here. So anyway, we're still on our first method. We haven't even really jumped into it yet. So the first thing we're going to go under is Windows Settings. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on Security Settings. And then Locate Local Policies. Double click on that. And then just left click on Security Options. On the right side, locate user account controls. Run all administrators in admin approval mode. Right here, double click on that. You want to set this to enabled. And then left click on OK. And then once you've done that, you want to close out of here. Open up the Start menu, type in Run, select Run from the list, and then type in GP Update, space, forward slash, force, as it appears on my screen. Select OK. This is going to be updating the group policy, so Obviously, we can't restart our computer without doing a hard power off, so that's why we're just updating it this way. So it should say update has completed successfully. So you should be able to restart your computer at this point, and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. If you're still having an issue or if you were unable to access the group policy editor, another method we can try would be to open up the start menu, type in regedit, it's R E G E D I T. Best match to go back to Redis Editor. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the Redis I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, select Export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Extra range be sorted to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. Select save to save it and if you ever need to import it back in, you just put select file and then import and navigate to the file location and that's how you'd restore from a backup. And now we're ready to begin and we're going to expand the HK local machine folder. And now double click on the software folder under that. So double click on that subfolder. Do the same thing for the Microsoft folder now. Same thing for Windows. Double click on that and now do the same thing for current version. And now should be a policies folder under here. Right here, double click on that. And now finally system, so go left click on that. And now it should be something on the right side that says Enable LUA, right here. Double click on that. Set the value data to 1. And then select OK. Now you can close out of here. And restart your computer should be able to work once again. And you shouldn't have any more issues related to this. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.